the Washington. Uh, the loop did happen to uh, be in our area of the apron where the bus was born. Uh, we worked hand in hand with ODOT in that where they came in and they retrenched and they set the signal loop lower into the, into the apron. And we did do full depth repair there. We did use one time band small uh, to cover that. Uh, we had erosion control on Settler's Trail and we used four times an envelope gravel there. And this is a, a continuation of what we did the prior month before. We have this uh, water coming down East Washington, both sides. And we've been dealing with that slope and seeding it and grass and it. And kind of just with us. Uh, we had continuation of roadside mowing. Uh, if you guys know this around town, we're mowing the back slopes. And we're going to go a little further back and try to put it to the limits. Uh, and see how far we can get back uh, during the month of November. If it doesn't snow, we'll be mowing. First snow event. So, four to five inches on the north side of town. We had several road closures at the same time uh, due to down trees, uh, and uh, we did have um, some problems with our snowfall season getting through the plow roads. I had to peel off two guys, put them in the backhoe and some saws. Uh, we were able to uh, clear the roads and clear all the down trees and limbs to make the roads pass through the hours. So I found that acceptable. Uh, I'd like to thank the chief, I'd like to thank the sheriff's department, and I'd like to thank the residents that did help out with uh, limbs and uh, letting us know where everything was. Uh, we did use 14 tons of salt that day uh, on the roads. And, and as far as I can remember, in my 17 years there, that's the earliest that uh, mm -hmm. we went out. And so, uh, yeah, we did experience power outages at the garage and uh, all around the town. So. We had one urn burial and one full internment for the month, and we do have one outstanding uh, As far as the equipment, uh, we had the equipment out on the road that did perform. 
Uh, prior to that, uh, Truck 18's radiator was sent out. We did do this all in the house where we took it out. Had it sent out, repaired, and we did put that back in and Truck 18's uh, operational. Uh, you should see a uh, requisition for hydraulic hose. I think one or two I'm going to place on there to start the use at the beginning. Uh, truck 19's air tanks were replaced. And these tanks do go out due to the condensation that uh, does uh, settle in the bottom of the tank, and it's a salt truck, so uh, this is something that's happened before. Those are repaired. Uh, we have still all of our trucks um, are ready to go. They'll be ready to go and hit them. Uh, that's all I have. Questions for Mr. Ford? Mr. Cameron. Okay. Water. Um, <laughs> since we a short time here, I'm just going to point my report. I've done some work on something that's just been really down here. So go ahead, Mike. I'll pass on to you because we have two hours of interviews to do. So, see you two hours. Okay. Well, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Fiscal officer report uh, since October 22nd, they issued warrants 1286 through. 1309 totaling $22,087.19. Uh, also uh, provided everyone with a fund summary status report. And only other news I have is that uh, we did get our new UAN computer, so uh, Nancy has my old one, and we're in the process of transferring that over so that Emmer can finally have a computer again. That's all I've got. I'll be up to speed. Happy, happy, happy. Okay. Uh, let's go to the old business, uh, Humana, and our old policy. Yeah. Um, at the last meeting, we had a little discussion over that, and I've done some. Metric math and came up with the value of that at 25.6 cents an hour to the employees. At least that's what we're paying. That's, that's the cost of it. Um, we sent out an email across the county this uh, last week looking for uh, uh, other townships' uh, policies of sick days and donation of sick days and things like that. This all being fresh because we lost the employee with the, with the illness here last year. Um, we got the counties back and we got one township back is all we've gotten so far. Um, Nancy uh, contacted uh, OTA and uh, Consumer's Life policy here, which I have not had a chance to review. I think this just came in today. Yeah, so you take away since we just got that. Yeah. There's a chance to review it. Yeah. Plus, the other. That's an older quote, um, which they can update, but you'll see that the, the benefit that was quoted is lower than the current benefit of 250 per week. So we need to get... The reason we're doing this, right, and, 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 and John and Mike, is, is, you know, when we hired these guys, and we've hired some people, you know, fairly recently here, you know, in the last handful of years, uh, this was something we mentioned at the, at the interview process. What was available to the employees that we do this as a, as a benefit to the, you know, in addition to their wages. And I'm just not comfortable taking away unless we get something to replace it or the employees are, are comfortable with whatever compensation we do them in lieu of. So. I agree completely. I've been in the industry for 30 some odd years and they had things unilaterally uh, come in one day and they don't have them anymore. It's not right. Well, it might be something different. It might not be this. It might be maybe we can come up with a donation of sick days where in case of what we had, you know, recently. That's what I'd like to see is a list, yeah, a list, of, list of what we would. And it's going to take some more. Right. This, this stuff. If we come up with a list of what we'd be willing to do, run that past the employees, mm -hmm. and, you know, see what would benefit them. They're, they're the ones that are receiving the benefits, so they may find something in there that they. Our apples isn't going to match anybody else's oranges, so mm -hmm. we're going to. It's going to take some more. So. <coughs> okay. Um, thank you. Did you table that so okay. information? Um, uh, we interviewed some people for the zoning commission, I think. 
Now we do have an advertisement out for some additional applicants, which is our usual time frame that we do. So if you want to do anything, we've interviewed two people. We have... Uh, my opinion is that we've interviewed two people which are qualified. Uh, I think I'd like to see them at least put on for the remainder of this year. We can reevaluate them at the end of the year. But I think we'll give them a couple months to get a feel for the, the board before they, they reapply. I think what, <coughs> what we got now is four of the full positions, four of the full commission memberships are, are, you know, are filled. Fred left his, so there's one term, a full term with essentially, what, four years and two months to go or something like that. That's what's open. We've got one guy, I think Mike Geyer is in the uh, alternate spot. Right. right. So we got a second alternate. I, I'm pretty sure we're limited to two alternates, John, aren't we? Mm -hmm. That's what yeah. I thought. So we can't put both on as alternates. So if we're going to put both these people on, we got to fill the vacated seat. Which we, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those are the two open alternate two or whatever, and and Fred's turn. Right. Well, an existing alternate would usually move up into that position. That's where our point would have done. Okay. That's our standard procedure, and then we would open up the two alternates. Mm -hmm. So, you know, unless you want to hold something at the end of the year, have a better idea how you'd like to proceed. Um, well, you got an attendance report, and I think we know, you know, we all talked about the meeting that was lost at one. Uh, whatever you want to do, you know, if, you, if, if we're comfortable with our alder, and he's been, I think his attendance is good. Uh, okay, I'll make a motion to move Mike Arrow from alternate to uh, take over Fred's, remainder of Fred's term. We do those three separate motions? Yeah. Okay. I'll second it. Okay. PJ? Yes. Mike? Yes. And John? Yes. Okay, so now you have two open alternates. Okay. And, uh, and those would be for just the remainder of the year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Uh, I would make a motion to uh, put Jeff Pulsford in as alder number one. Okay. I'll second. PJ? Yes. Mike? Yes. John? Yes. And I'll make another motion to put in Beth Lift of Messenger Road as alder number two. No second that also. PJ? Yes. Mike? Yes. John? Yes. And Fred, make sure you mention that those are just to close out the year and, okay. and uh, we'll redo that the first of the year. Now, Mike's position that is that is not just a close out. Right? No, 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 that would be that's going to still take you over your term, term left by. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. sure. So you're still going to have now. The only thing we won't re-interview those people. No, I wouldn't get the need to talk to them. So we still will have uh, any additional the, any additional applicants. We'll hopefully have some of those, and we'll interview them for. The, Maybe another term. I don't. Who, did anybody know right now whose term is up? I, it's on. It's in the organizational minutes, which is why we put it there. So, <coughs> but yeah, there'll be another open five-year term. In January one. Okay. Um, we had an opportunity come up, and we can purchase a varsity uh, used backstop uh, for fifteen hundred dollars. It has a value of about fifteen thousand dollars. As John Simpson has given us a, uh, an estimate on it. And I think he would know since he's in the business of so what's not to do in stops. So I think it's a heck of an opportunity for us here. Uh, 
I'd like to make a motion that we purchase that. Yeah, I'll second. I think that's one piece of fixed uh, hardware we need. Yeah, no, there's going to be two, from what I heard talking to Jennifer up there. They've got this cool scoreboard that's wireless and remote control, and they want to put a thing there where they can pivot it from one field to the other. So that wouldn't be moving, I don't think, because you'd have to have something to come to this thing for, to put on its pivot. Yeah. But, yeah. You know, we were... Well, this is 15... Like fifteen dollars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Use back top. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody here, it's all cleaned up with the concrete off of it and everything. So it's ten cents on the yeah. dollar. Yeah, I'll second it. All right, PG. I vote yes. One. Yes. John. Yes. yes. Okay, we uh, we had our sneak peek. It was a rousing <laughs> success. We probably had about three hundred people come, and uh, we. Uh, they validated a couple of things. A, they're very interested in the park, and B, very interested in walking trails. Very. And um, we uh, very interested in baseball. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, it was very, uh, very nice to see those folks come out, especially in that kind of a tad bit inclement weather. So it was fun. Uh, real happy to. See that you close yeah. to 50 people that went and walked the walking trails oh, in the mud just to easily. Yeah, see them. so that was yeah, easily. So that was good. Uh, one thing you know, I think it pointed out that we do need the do phase two of the parking area mm -hmm. in the spring, and uh, well, that's going to come with the uh, catch basins and the stuff like that, too. So, you know, this is this is the one we worked with Carmela said we need to unload trucks up there if you remember. You to unload the trucks. Uh, when I started with her in the spring, I don't remember I was talking to her too. I said we need to construct some portion of this parking area so we are putting them up this building we can turn a truck around. Staging areas. Yeah, sta a staging area. Expense still needs some expansion to park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Right, yeah. It just, yeah. I mean, there's going to be runoff things that we got to work through with soil and water to finish this last two thirds of the parking lot. This was kind of a special permission that we got to construct what we did. Okay. All right. Any comments? Yeah. John? I got a busy agenda up there real quick. Reference to Storm. Uh, first energy, our uh, area representative, Doug Hogan, did a fantastic job of coordinating with us and the outages that were going on, what they were doing, and kept us up to speed. In fact, that morning, he uh, came out to find me at uh, one of the wires down calls so they could brief me on what they were doing, how long they were going to be without power, and so forth. So it's the best of, I've ever seen on that, right. actually, yeah. to be honest with you. And our road department did a fantastic job of keeping up with the stuff that was coming down. Mm -hmm. It was really an yeah. But uh, uh, kudos to both those agencies. Okay, well, we've got to uh, interview some employees here, so I'll make a motion to go into executive session. And I'll get this fellow in the room. Make oh. a comment, please? Yes, sir. I was here at the last meeting, Scott Bayes, Wing Road. Um, I did file a violation, zoning violation. I've had a conversation with Michael, and I wanted to find out the status of where that violation is and where we're at and whether or not you had talked to the sheriff to see if they're amicable to listening to hopefully not any complaints but any future complaints that may involve issues with yeah, the patio. Yeah, they'll work with complaints. So right now we'd like to keep them coming through us as much as possible. You've got my number to contact me because mm -hmm. I can get up there quicker and then I can contact the sheriff's department okay. directly. Uh, we've also got some additional issues uh, that have arisen on, based on your complaint. Uh, we talked to the uh, prosecutors, and uh, their point, uh, as it sits right now with the information you've given, is that the, the bar back there is uh, not part of the patio just in a literal definition. 
So we're talking some other uh, of the county agencies planning. Uh, who else we got information? They're getting us information. Building department. Building department. Building department. So that's underway right now. We're waiting on information to come back, but I'll keep filling you in on uh, you know, information as I receive it. Okay. Okay. Motion taken. Second. PJ. Yep. Fine. Yes. John. Yes. We tried our best. Okay. <laughs> See you later. Bye.